there's just a different type of energy in this city the weekend of the marathon and with runners from every state and 122 countries competing this year, Boston's going to be buzzing all the way until race day. <laughs> it's an annual pilgrimage for those running the marathon, walking down a packed Boylston Street to take a photo at the finish line. I have done it 13 times, but I have not been back here in 15 years. For some of those like me, it's our first chance to run Boston after six years of uh, blood, sweat and tears. It truly is a family affair, especially for the first timers, including Saugus' very own Casey Hyde. Growing up, like, because it's always school vacation, so we always had like the day off and stuff, always um, watching it on TV. The history and magnitude of this race just as powerful for the pros. Molly! Including American Molly Seidel, who lived in Boston for nearly five years after college and won bronze in the 2020 Summer Games in Tokyo. It's really meaningful feeling like I'm coming home, getting to like be on a course that I trained on so much and watched every year. Kind of learned how to be a pro runner out here and just got immersed in just everything that is Boston running. It's what made me move to the marathon, honestly. And while Seidel may have a home field advantage, every runner should get a boost from these crowds. Why do my mom do a marathon? Oliver, what's that like being out here? <laughs> Who have been waiting three years for the marathon to return to Patriots Day. Every time I go on a workout, I'm running for Boston. I'm a get to Boston. So I've been training for it for a long time. I appreciate all the people of Boston, and uh, y'all definitely know how to make our, your marathons feel like rock stars. And we talked to a veteran runner who was out here for the marathon in the fall. And while he said that was a great experience, he says the energy that was felt today with the marathon happening traditionally in the spring just can't be beat. We're live in Boston, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.